Hi there and welcome. So in today's video we are going to be looking at um, the four basic functions or little formulas inside of Excel and that's min, max, sum and average. So um, I'm going to demonstrate to you, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So let me just uh, type this out for us. So we're going to look at min, we're going to look at max, we're going to look at sum and we're going to look at average. And what you'll immediately notice is that when I'm dealing with these uh, functions, min stands for minimum, max for maximum, sum is for us to add up things, and then average is obviously to get the average in a range. But with average, you have to type out the entire word. Okay, so um, we can't have just AVG or AVE or anything like that. It has to be typed out as average. So in this column, I'm just going to type out a couple of numbers so that we can use this. Now, when we use formulas, okay, this will probably, probably be the first time that you experiment with formulas. So what you need to know from the offset is that, from the onset is that uh, we always begin our formulas with the equal sign. Okay, and this is because this is where we want the answer to be. So in whichever cell we want the answer to be, um, we will say equals to begin our formula and then we'll select from whichever formula we want. So let's begin with min. So we'll type in min and immediately you'll see this shows you the list of formulas that are actually there. So we're just going to use min for now to give us the minimum or the lowest number in a particular range. So we open up our bracket and then I'm going to go and highlight this whole section. Why? Because I want the lowest number out of these four numbers over here. Now we already know it's going to be 23, um, but let's see if the formula actually matches up with that. So once we're done, we can just close our bracket and we hit enter. Okay, there we go and it gives me 23. But have a look at this. When I click on that, do I see the formula here? No. Uh, in the previous video I mentioned about the formula bar. So there's the formula bar and there you can see there is what I had originally typed in. And you can see when I click on that, it actually shows me the range that that formula is getting um, its data from. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's look at max. All right, so we want the maximum number. How do we start the formula? With the equal sign. And then we're going to type in max. We're going to open our bracket. And again, we are going to highlight this area because we want the biggest number out of that range. Remember there we can see our range B4 to B7 as I explained in the previous video. So B4, B5, B6, B7. Um, that range is basically saying everything from and including B4 up to and including B7. So we hit enter and then we get our largest number in that range which is 788. All right now sum is one of the more popular ones. Um, this we use for adding everything up. So if we want to add up all these numbers, we put in equal sum. Again, there's the range. We close our bracket and we hit enter. And that gives us a total of 901. And then you'll see what average does. We follow exactly the same protocol. So equals average. Open our bracket. We highlight the specific area or the range. Close our bracket and hit enter. And there you will see between these numbers, the average is 225,25. So that's just dealing with the four basic formulas, uh, starting you off with min, max, sum, and average.